Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the ACS team, here with my Samsung Epic 4G, as you can see it's booting up right now. Uh, basically here to show you guys the Ice Cream Sandwich SDK port on the Epic. So basically it'll be Android 4.0 running on your Epic. It is booting up right now. I'm not going to do a how-to just because this ROM isn't any anything but for show. This isn't a ROM to basically try out for yourself. I mean, you can if you want, but I mean, it it doesn't really work. The touch screen doesn't even work. You can't use the touch screen at all. Um, the keyboard works a little, but the buttons are all messed up. So just kind of showing you that we have a port. Uh, big thanks to all uh, all Master AA and Xbox Fan J and BXFXF as well for doing this for us. I will link to the thread in the description of the video. As you can see, Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich SDK port right there. Uh, just basically, it's not very usable. It's just kind of for show, but it is very cool. As you can see, it's stuck in landscape uh, mode, but it, it's, it, touch screen doesn't work, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and slide up the keyboard. As you can see, it says make yourself at home. I'm going to try and hit an arrow key, see if it'll do anything. As you can see, it's all messed up. I'm hitting the arrow keys, and letters are showing up in the search bar. So as you can see, it is really, really messed up, and the back button is A. But as you can see, the buttons are all out of whack so there's that I mean I got to the internet browser but you, you won't be able to navigate through it just because you really can't um, can't use it because you don't know what the buttons do I think the menu and back buttons work so you can try that but anyways as you can see there I am on the home screen um, other than that as a as you can see it's just it's really nice that we do have an early build of ice cream sandwich on our phone so it's very nice as you can see it's orange just because there are two colors in the SDK one's orange one's the stock blue um, this one's just orange for now it's not that big of a deal but just kind of giving you guys a teaser of hopefully we will get a fully working port just like the Nexus S4G does have that is just my hope but as you can see we do have an initial SDK port, so very exciting. I'm very, uh, very pleased and nice work by those guys that were involved. So, other than that, be sure to uh, subscribe to me. And if if you do want to try it out, you will need to be on a RFS file system. You can't flash this from an EXT4 file system. So, if you're on an EXT4 ROM, so just Syndicate Frozen ROM, you can't flash this. You need to be on an RFS file system before you can flash this. So, just a heads up. Uh, but otherwise, uh, be sure to subscribe and follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Check out my blog as well. And thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it.